To the left, right? Yep. I did it, and there's the boss. Here, play. Welcome to Retired Time Productions. Okay, little experiment with pan tilt here. What I'm going to be doing is testing the tilt servo and I'm going to have two different kinds and I'm going to see which one reacts the most with the video TX signal coming off this antenna. So the two servos I'm going to test are first of all I have the Turnigy 9018 Metal Gear servo which is this one right here and then the second one I'm using is a Turnigy 5090M Metal Gear servo. I've got a video signal coming off my transmitter right here and I'm going to plug in the tilt servo. Now this is the same one that's already on the pan tilt by the way. So I'm going to plug that in. This is the Turnigy 9018 Metal Gear servo when I hold it up against the antenna, hear that chatter? You can even see it wiggling right there. When I get it near the antenna. Chattering away. That's, that's this one right here. And I think this is a digital servo. Doesn't say on the box, but I presume it is a digital servo. Okay, you can look it up and find out. But anyway, that one chatters. Now, this is the same company, Turnigy. It's the 50090. I'm going to plug that one in. Now, we hold this up near the antenna. And this says right on its package that it's analog. And you can see, no reaction. And you might think, well, maybe that servo's dead. Okay, let's turn the pan knob. I mean the uh, tilt knob. It's the tilt servo we're checking. And you can see it does work. But it doesn't react to the video antenna, the video signal at all, no matter how close I get it. So if we go back to the black one, and that's still a Turnigy, and it's still a Metal Gear servo. And this happens to be this 9018 Metal Gear servo, this one right here. Chatters. So if your antenna is putting out quite a bit of signal, or it gets detuned because of temperature or something, you might see a lot of chatter in your servos, especially if the wires are running near it. So, just something to consider. I think I'm going to switch this servo out with uh, one of these 50090. Now, these aren't the greatest servos in the world. They they have a they're a little rough, but you know it's for the tilt. So once I get it tilted, I probably won't move it that much. So I won't be moving the tilt too much. It's mostly the pan that I use. Now the pan has a 360 degree sail winch servo and that baby is smooth. So you look at that. That works very smoothly so I don't have to worry about that and it doesn't react to the video signal either. So no problems with that and it'll go all the way around. So I'm going to leave that servo on the pan but I'm going to change the tilt servo to one that doesn't chatter. So here is the tilt servo installed on my tilt mechanism right there. Same pan servo, I got the 360 on there. That's just my Tyrannus radio talking and now if I move the tilt you can see that working. No more jitters as far as the radio goes. This servo isn't the smoothest in the world, but I don't move the tilt that often anyway. I usually just set it and then use the pan to look around. So it ought to work pretty good. Keep your 